Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today is a bit a different topic <coughs> than the others before. Today I want to talk about HiveOS and how it performs on my test bench compared to Windows. And as you can see there are two 3070s in it, a KFA2X one click OC and the Inno 3D iChill X3 I guess. HiveOS is installed on the USB drive, it's connected per LAN to my other PC where it gets the internet connection and yeah let's see how this rig is doing on HiveOS yeah here we can see HiveOS I mean I don't have to introduce you about HiveOS you probably know HiveOS and how to use it if you are watching this video so yeah what can we see um, we can see my test bench has an efficiency of 9908% which means 4512 accepted shares and 42 rejected shares and this is the one particular point we will talk about today but for first which which really bothers me or borderlines me or limitates me I would rather say limitates me in a technical aspect is the overclocking abilities here on HiveOS I'm a bit disappointed because I can't do a curve, I just can't limit the card with the power limit which means that the card is bouncing all day long up and down with the frequency and the voltage because it's not running on a specific voltage which is not efficient and in fact compared to Windows the cards are not more efficient if you think this is if you think the cards are more efficient on um, HiveOS, no if you do it correctly on Windows, at least as possible as on Windows and as possible as on HiveOS, the cards have the same efficiency. Um, the difference here, the reason is pretty simple. If you go to my other rig, there is on the left corner an MSI of the Benetta Curve Editor, you can see it, but I show you. And here we can see it's popped up <coughs> and you can see it's a straight line which means the card is now running on the lowest possible voltage with the lowest possible frequency that I set in. And you can see the power limit is turned all the way up and it's still not pulling more. And that's because like I said power draw is a combination out of voltage and frequency and you can set this in Windows but you can't set this in HiveOS, which means you are limited by the power limit and that means your card is bouncing all day up and down because you didn't set a specific voltage and frequency, which means the card can be more efficient. And in fact, like I said, it isn't. And then we have the problem which causes me a really headache and that is the rejected shares um, before you say, hey, try to use different drivers. I did that already used three different drivers what people said hey they work fine and now in fact not a single driver works fine this driver works the best out of all but it's still doing one percent rejected shares and on a slightly overclock i mean this is not really much from an overclock um if you go here in the shell in the box type in minor yeah you can see it's doing bad shares which causing me a headache both cards are doing bad shares and now you can say you, you are yes you probably overclock too high but that's not true because overclocking too high means the card is running unstable and there is only a specific area where a card is unstable and if we are uh, clocking the card now for EG to 3600 3, it should crash because there is not a point where you can say it's stable from 3000 to 3600 so 600 megahertz instability area yeah seems legit seems to be legit let's type it in and see what it does overclocking supplied now we can go to shell in the box we can see card zero is doing a bad share not card one i overclock card one and let's see for the next chairs yeah, and we can see it's doing two good shares with an insane more overclock. <laughs> and if you say the card is unstable at 3000 megahertz and then now I pushed another 600 megahertz on it, this is just not possible that the card is, can still run. It's like if you say 
you have for each year 9900k over clock at 25 gigahertz when this is the last point where it's stable and now try to boot with 5.1 or 5.2 gigahertz i bet with you you can't even post with 5.1 gigahertz when 5 gigahertz was nearly stable and this is what i want to show you here um, I'm a bit disappointed about the bad shares or about the drivers because they are not capable of withstand such high overclocks even if the card is capable which you can see here and this is this is a pretty sad for me because I thought on HiveOS you can clock the cards further than on Windows in fact you can't clock the cards further you can achieve the same overclocks like on Windows but the difference between Windows and HiveOS is you start to getting bad shares over 3000 megahertz where you can push the card on windows to 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 plus 2000 which means plus 4000 you don't even get any bad share as you can see the card in the top left corner uh, 132 mega hashes running 13 hours straight that are for that would be 4000 megahertz in hive os and <laughs> you can see the card is just doing fine and we can see here over 3000 megahertz results in bad shares in sporadic bad shares and before you say well maybe you have bad cards i already test that cards since it's my test bench on windows and they're doing fine they're working fine with these overclocks not doing a single um, rejected share so that's that's a point we are a bit disappointed about high OS and about the drivers i wish they would be better or like on windows Efficiency wise and mega hash wise, it's the same if you apply the same overclocks and same minor settings. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want to blame HiveOS, it's a pretty good um, program. But if you are just about to consider the benefits about HiveOS, I just want to show you also a disadvantage. I mean, if the benefits outweigh this disadvantage for you it's it's my i mean i mean it's absolutely okay but in my particular case i'm not sure because i'm all the efficiency and all the easiness that i get reacts in bad shares and this is not nice but i just want to show you it and how this looks if you're extreme overclock or you want to push the cards to the limit, then HiveOS is might the false OS for you because you can't push the cards to the limit. You push the cards to the driver limits. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave down a comment or like and if you want to subscribe, I would say see you in the next video.